makes never a dull moment. Gander to the rescue, he's a scream. Now, never mind about the ghost train. What you want is a bit of music to cheer you up. And here's a little song I'm going to sing at New Key this summer. It'll penalise them. Once at the seaside, feeling very reckless, I banged down tuppence and I rolled on the pier. Hadn't gone far when the strains of music wafted on the breeze and landed in my ear. I quickened up my steps, for I love nice noises. Very soon arrived right opposite the van. Saw the conductor on a lemonade box with his little bat and stuck up in his right hand. One, two, three, four, off went the corner. Five, six, seven, eight, the fiddles followed suit. Man in the corner, playing on the piccolo, keeping time with the sole of his boot. Right behind him was a fellow with a trombone, blowing like the devil with his cheeks out wide. Working so hard that both his little eyeballs left their sockets and stood outside. Eyeing on the rostrum, a drummer very lonely, drums all round like bees in a swarm. Looking very cold with his nose quite scarlet, banging on the cymbals to keep himself warm. Opposite to him was a man with a toothpaste spitting down a reed. What a nasty man! Sitting next to him was a fellow with a French horn, full of soul and bitter beer, thumps on the can. Fellow with the cello, um, 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 trying very hard to saw it in two. He's found with the double bass, cuddling it fondly, looking like a camel with a dose of the flu. Man with the piccolo, fed up with the damn thing, sick and tired of hearing the same old toot. Thought he'd like a change, so he put it down beside him and then started messing with a full-size flute. Man with a bassoon, nothing on his music, sounded like a flute. <gasps> Never said a word, just as I thought he was going to fall asleep. He picked up his bassoon and gave us all the birds. Why, you little... Richard, I'll not... Richard, Richard! After all, you started it. Yes, yes, we don't want any more unpleasantness, do we? Huh? Well, I've had just about enough of him. I was only trying to cheer things up. Well, don't. <laughs> so you don't want me to entertain you, eh? No. No good? Napoleon? something. In there. In where? The refreshment room? I'll go and see. I'll attend to this. Yes, certainly. You go first. you, little man. There's no need to go scaring the wits out. Tea? What an idea, a cup of tea. That's what I meant. I suppose you haven't got a teapot and a kettle and a few cups and saucers No, I haven't. And you give me back my tea, see? Ah, uh, stingy. It's two weeks' coupons there. Now, now, don't be mean. After all, there's a war on. We're adapting the pool system. Wait a minute. I'll tell you what I'll do. You give us your tea, and I'll give you a bacon, a sugar, and a couple of cooking fats out of my ration book. Eh? Yeah, go on. Yes, go on. <laughs> I don't mind you having just one teaspoonful. Ah, lady, enough of you. Yeah, none for each and one for the pot. Oh, it's a shame to rob you. Oh, I don't mind, dear. I could do with a cup of tea myself. I've got a tin of milk, too. Oh, yeah. No, no, stop it, stop it, Polly. You do that again, I'll have you boiled up with a few carrots. Uh, what are we going to make the tea in? Well, there's sure to be a tea urn in the refreshment room. The girl's not as dumb as she looks. Come on. Where are you going? I'm going to make some tea. Well, uh, it's all right, boy. It's all right. Don't worry. We can manage. Here you are. Shall we make tea in the dark, or will you have gas? Gas, I think. Certainly. Hmm. Now, then, bottom. Lovely weather we're having for this time of the day. What could I do for you? Uh, first of all, I want eight cups. Eight cups. <clears throat> uh, bottom did say eight cups. Eight cups. Yes. Uh, Will you have them with or without? 
Uh, with or without what? Handles. Mm. With peas. There's a bit of that. I'm afraid we're rather short of handles. It's been too rough for the boats to go out. However, there you are. Four cups and four suck-ups. Hello. I've been looking all over the hotel for you. What do you want? I've come to help you make the tea. Well, we don't want any help. Good. What do I do? The dog seems to be attacked here. You come help me find some water. Goody, goody. Wait a minute. You can't go out in this rain. Of course not. No. You go. Oh. Do you mind? No, me other sugar be dry by the time I get back. Big hearty gander, that's me. Hot water in number 14. Whoa. Of course, if you insist on going. It doesn't. Oh. Oh, the very thing. It's a far, far wetter thing I go to. I wouldn't be surprised. The wheel that works the bridge, you know, the one that old man nearly died on. Oh, can't you forget about that old man? All right, old man. And it's true, there is a wheel. Yes, it's just outside there. It's rather a gruesome thought, isn't it? But what must it be when the train comes a-screaming and a-tearing through the station, with its whiskers blowing and its haunted steamer? I said forget it. What was I talking about? Here, can I help you? I know. Light the blue paper and retire immediately. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Don't be alarmed. That was the tea urn. I just tea earned the gas on. Ah, I'd better take that one out of the joke book. I'm afraid my stuff's too high class for them. Hello, I see you got it to light. Yes, we know how it works and we found the cups and we're doing very well. Thank you very much. All right, I was only trying to be useful. Wasn't I, Miss, uh, her? What did you say your name was? The lady didn't say what her name was. Well, I told her what my name was. Well, that's no reason to come in here. It'll stop you two arguing. It's Winthrop. Jackie Winthrop. Winthrop? Oh, the same as R.G. in there. Well, he's not your brother. And he's not your father. He can't be your sister, even if he does play hockey for Hampshire. Look here, is this a cross-examination? Oh, I don't mind. Well, I do. This silly little man's done nothing but force his attentions on you ever since he lost his silly hat. Well, I can't call her Miss What's-Her-Name. Besides, I was only trying to help. Well, go and help the people in the other oh, room. I don't want go to. On. Oh, no. Listen. He's your cousin. And you're not, um... No. That's all I wanted to know. I say, don't be so miserable. Oh, come on, cheer up. Don't do that. Giving me the palpitations. I say, talking about ghosts. We're not. Well, I am. Talking about ghosts reminds me of a story about Golders Green. Do you know Golders Green? The underground? No, the crematorium. Oh? One day, as they were pushing the bodies in. Shut up. Wait a minute. As they were pushing the bodies in. Will you shut up? Don't you see you're frightening the ladies? Don't be silly. You're enjoying it, aren't you? No, I'm not. Oh. Perhaps you'd rather I told you the story about the man who had his tongue torn out. No, I wouldn't. 